I'm going to show you a neat trick of how to flatten your child containers. Imagine you got two child containers on a page, you know, inside of a parent container, child one, child two. You'll have items inside of child one, items inside of child two. But when you get to the mobile, what if you want to flatten it so they no longer sat within separate child containers? Why would you want to flatten it? Because maybe you want to reorder them. Because you can reorder within child one and you can reorder within child two. But what if you want to mix it up? Now, I'm doing this in Cybernoff Canvas widget, but don't worry about that. Because the principle of what I'm going to show you, the code, it is such a tiny bit of code. You can apply anywhere on your website, but I just want to show you how it could work within an off canvas widget. So I've got off canvas widget, which obviously has a container inside and inside of there, I've got two child containers and I've got child container number one, which has a WordPress menu and some social icons. Now, if you can see the structure, you'll notice it says number three and number five for the social icons. I'll explain that in a moment. And in child container number two, which is sat side by side, uh, obviously the parent container is set to be a row. And then you've got your two child containers, obviously sat side by side, occupying 50% um, width, percentage width. I've got an image with a number one, text editor with a number two, and then an icon list with a number four. So this is what you see on the desktop. But when you get to the mobile, I want to flatten it. And I now want my image to be the first item. Then I want the text editor. Then I want the WordPress menu, which is in a separate child container. Then I want the icon list, which is now in the other one if we go back the other way. And then I want to go back again to go and get the social icon. Now, if you start to go over to your advanced tab and you start to go to order and all of that, it ain't going to work. You can reorder it to the nth degree. But the problem is that these three items over here sit inside child container number two. With a bit of code and a bit of max media or min media, or whichever one I use, you can flatten this container or the parent container so that now you can reorder them. So I'm going to go over to my parent container. OK, so this is child one and this is child number two. I go over to my parent container. Like I said, this could be a container on your page inside an off canvas inside of a pop up could be anywhere you want. When we go over to the advanced tab, scroll down, here is my code and let me expand on that. So I've said for the tablet and the mobile, which is why I've said Max Media 1024. So every screen that is greater than that will look how you see it right now. But when you are below 1024, I want the flattening to basically kick in. So I'm saying for the parent container, display flex, wrap, flex direction is column. That's quite important. I want it to be a column. And then I've said over here, display contents. And, and that's literally it. You would think I would have to pop the word flattening or whatever like that. I was playing around trying to get this to work. And then I came across this nugget. And all I've said is child one and child two. I should point out though, shouldn't I, that you need to ensure you give a class name. So child number one is child one. And if we go to the second container, I've called it child two. I do rush it a bit, don't I, sometimes, and I forget to mention things. So make sure you're giving them a class name. Back to the CSS code, child one, child two, flat, uh, not flattened, sorry, display content. So if you had a child three, just stick it in, display uh, child four, stick that in as well. And that's literally all it does. So I've told you the order I want them in, okay? So remember, image text, then the menu, then the icon list, which is what we have over here. Uh, and then the social icon. And don't worry about it wrapping. It's because we're on a smaller screen. So watch what happens when I now go over to my mobile. If I just move that, can you see that it's now following the logic I've set? We've got the image, the text editor, the menu. Then we have the icon list and then we've got the social icon. It's now following one, two, three, four, five. Exactly how I intended or wanted it to look because if I had left it as two child containers and let's just get rid of this code so we can see what it's going to look like, that's the order because it's following child one. I mean, you could swap the child containers around, but even then I've got the um, icon list in the wrong order compared to where I want the social icons. It gives you tons of flexibility. And if you had like a page on your website, could be a hero banner or something like that. And maybe you have got multiple child containers because it's a very bespoke look. But then when you get to the mobile, you want to get rid of some items, but now you want to rearrange items as well, because how it looks on a desktop might be fantastic. But when you get to the mobile, all of a sudden you need to rearrange items. Flattening is going to handle that for you. 
and you decide if it's going to be for particular breakpoints. Hey, I'm Imran from Web Squadron. The code for this is in the video description. Take care. See you soon. Bye. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win your life, have no shame, there's no time.